Hello, this is Jason with Baptist Court Reporting. Today I'm going to talk about the most common question I receive regarding remote depositions, and that is how to introduce and share exhibits. I'm going to go through this very quickly, but rest assured at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can contact me directly for some one on one time or a longer tutorial. For now, I'm going to jump right in, and I'm going to do that by sharing my entire screen. Don't recommend that you share your entire screen during your deposition. But for a demonstration, this will allow me to show you how I might set up my computer at my deposition. First thing I want to point out is that I have a file folder down here, ready to go with all of my documents for my deposition. I have them zero padded, so they sort nicely, and I have them labeled just the way I like. I'm going to keep that minimized for easy access. The other thing I have open and running is this tab in my browser. Aptis will provide you with a complimentary box folder to house your documents for your deposition. I've put a duplicate of all of these documents in this file folder into my box account. This allows you to access them during your deposition, but also your videographer or exhibit technician. A videographer can help you introduce these exhibits and share them. So can an exhibit tech. This also allows the court reporter to view the documents before the deposition to make sure everything looks good. Another thing I want to show you that I have open and running are my first three documents that I intend to share during my deposition. These can be any documents. I have PDFs here, but you can have Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, videos, anything you need. So at the start of my deposition, I want to open my chat room. Personally, I like to have my participant window open also because I like to see everybody in the room. I'm ready to introduce my first exhibit. And I'm being diligent. I wanna let everybody know here in the chat room that I'm about ready to introduce exhibit one. I wanna choose this document from my box folder. I'm gonna come over here and click on this little chain link. You'll notice that it copies to my clipboard automatically. I'm not gonna invite anybody here. I just want the link and I have that now. I also have the option here to choose a view only link. I'm gonna choose the view and download now because I wanna pass out a courtesy copy. But if I had a protective order in place or maybe some highly confidential documents and I didn't want the participants to download it, I would choose this other option down here. So I can close out here. I'm gonna come back to my Zoom room, my chat window, and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna paste that link here, and push enter on my computer. From here, all of the participants can click on this link, It'll open in their browser, and they don't need a box account to do this. They can independently scroll through the document, read it, and if they choose to download it, I've given them that option, and they can do that here. Another way to introduce an exhibit is using this file button in the chat window. I'm gonna click on that and scroll down to your computer. On my computer, it defaults to this folder because I've already been here. It doesn't default to your exhibits. Just search around here, through here to find your folder, click on the exhibit you want. Right now, I want to introduce exhibit two. And I just click open. You can see that that's been uploaded for all the participants. They can all download this and view it at their leisure, just like they did with this link. The only difference is I do have an opportunity with this link to have it as a view only. I may not be able to do that if I'm uploading native files to this chat window. Another way you can do this, I'll show you very quickly, is to open your files like this. You can just drag and drop your next exhibit right into this chat window. Now, in conjunction with introducing exhibits, this method, a lot of attorneys like to share their screen. I showed you earlier that I had these three documents here ready to go in case I wanted to share them. If I go to the share screen button, you can see all the documents I have up and running on my computer that I'm able to share. I'm gonna choose this. You can see now, this is what it looks like when you share just a document on your screen. I have this labeled as document one because that gives me some flexibility on what number exhibit I want to introduce it as. But if you prefer to label them by exhibit number or document title, that's okay. From here, 
I can scroll through and control the conversation. I could also give control of my screen to the witness and let them scroll through the document. Come back to my main view here because we're just about done. Those are the three ways that we found are easiest to introduce and share exhibits. I've gone through that very quickly. And I did tell you that I would give you some information on how to contact me. So I'm gonna do that here. You can't click on this link right now, but you can copy it down. This is what you would use to schedule with me personally for some one-on-one -on -one time. If you prefer to email me and set something up, you can do that here. But if all you need is a connection test to check your computer speed and your uh, camera and microphone, you can contact us here. Again, if it's easier, just email me. I'm happy to help you. So that's it for this lesson. If there's anything I can do to help you, feel free to contact me. Thank you for your business. Bye-bye.